Hello, and welcome to this episode of Piping Up, presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. Our organist today is Richard Elliott, and I'm your host, Luke Howard. Aaron Copeland wrote his Fanfare for the Common Man specifically as a concert opener. That was in 1942, and it was composed for the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra to help support the war effort. Since then, this fanfare continues to be performed as a particularly moving and profound call to attention, recognized around the world as a masterpiece in miniature, and it still makes a great concert opener. We'll hear it now in Richard Elliott's own transcription for organ. Psalm 51 is possibly the most heartfelt of David's penitential psalms. It's not just about sorrow for sin in general. It is reportedly about sorrow for one of David's particularly weighty sins. It begins, Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, for I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. In the Lutheran tradition, this psalm is widely known through a paraphrase published in 1524 by Erhard Hegenwald, Erbarm dich mein, o Herrgott. The melody published with it was probably written by Johann Walter, an associate of Hegenwald and Martin Luther in Wittenberg. J.S. Bach, or at least someone very much like him, wrote an organ prelude on that chorale tune. It's listed in the Bach catalogue as BWV 721, but some scholars have questioned that attribution. Still, it's a deeply poignant depiction of sorrow and yearning for reconciliation with God, appropriate to the text.
Speaking of psalm paraphrases, we turn now to a very different kind of poetic prayer, the beloved 23rd Psalm, an exemplary model of praise, faith, and gratitude. This psalm has been translated and paraphrased many, many times into versified hymn form. And I think it's a testament to the power of the original that its imagery remains vibrant and meaningful even through the process of paraphrasing. One of my favorite paraphrases is, The King of Love My Shepherd Is, penned by Sir Henry Williams Baker and published in 1868. Baker was the main editor and promoter of the volume Hymns Ancient and Modern in 1861, to which he contributed many original texts. The King of Love My Shepherd Is actually first appeared in the 1868 appendix to that hymnal. When it was first published, this hymn was sung to a new tune composed by John B. Dykes. The tune is known as Dominus Regit Me, which is the opening phrase of Psalm 23 in Latin. And even today, that tune remains the most popular musical setting of Baker's text. But when Rafe Vaughan Williams published the English hymnal in 1906, copyright restrictions prevented the reprinting of Dykes's melody. So The King of Love My Shepherd Is was published with what was termed an ancient Irish hymn melody, the hymn tune St. Columba. As happens so frequently, enough to suggest that it was inspired, this pairing was felicitous, and that old Irish melody received a new lease of life in connection with this paraphrase of Psalm 23. I believe that itself is a lovely metaphor for our own relationship with this beautiful psalm. It can renew us if we let it. Matching the faith and confidence in God expressed in this psalm with our own individual journey can also prove a felicitous, inspired pairing. Now, Richard plays Robert Kundick's arrangement of The King of Love My Shepherd Is, followed by his own arrangement of the traditional hymn, Come, Come, Ye Saints.
Today's program concludes with two very different selections, the Scottish folk tune Loch Lomond, arranged by today's organist, Richard Elliott, and then Richard Wagner's Ride of the Valkyries from his opera Die Valkyra, in an arrangement by the king of organ transcriptions, Edwin Lemaire. Loch Lomond, like so many folk songs, is essentially a song of lost love. The singer contrasts their current heartbreak with the beauty of the natural surroundings that had once been the setting of their joy. Don't be misled by the prettiness of the tune. The emotions run much deeper than that. Not so with Wagner, where the emotions are right there on full display. In Norse mythology, the Valkyries were horse-riding warrior maidens who chose which soldiers died on the battlefield. They then carried their souls in the afterlife to Valhalla. You'll hear it all. The horses, the Valkyries' strength and determination, the epic spectacle. Wagner never held anything back when he composed.
Thank you for watching this episode of Piping Up with organist Richard Elliott. We're so glad you joined us. You are always welcome to return for the weekly live stream of these concerts, and previous episodes are also available for on-demand viewing. More information about this program, including a link to submit listener requests, can be found at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Piping Up, Organ Concerts at Temple Square streams live every Wednesday at noon Mountain Time on the Tabernacle Choir's website and YouTube channel and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.